welcome to the testing world so now in this session I'm going to work with the checkbox I'm going to show you how we can select checkbox how we can unselect checkbox for that I'm using a different application this time that's my application which is shop.thetestingworld.com here I'm going to click on this button and there we are going to get a checkbox so I need to click on this checkbox for that first of all we need to click on this element so i'm just moving to my right editor i'm going to create a new test case which is tc002 and here first of all i'm using open browser and i'm using http www.shop.com the testing word.com and the browser I want to use Google Chrome then I need to click on a button so click element and which element you want to use so I'm using xpath is equal to here we need to generate xpath for this element here we are going to use span and the child of the span is button because for the button we do not have any unique attribute that seems like we do not have any unique attribute so I'm going to use this class I'm just coming here and here I'm writing span so double forward slash span class is equal to this and the child of this element is my button so I'm using xpath we have already seen all the approaches that we need to follow that we can follow in xpath and before that I'm adding a line I'm just going for maximize browser window so a simple test case in which we are starting the browser maximizing the window and click on the element when we want to execute only specific test case we can select that and run so now only particular test case that is test case 002 will be executed so here it should click on this button so now we are on the next page it has clicked on the button and now we are on the next page i want to select this checkbox i am just going to locate it and here we have name is equal to description I'm just using this so coming to my right editor and select checkbox and which element you want to select so that's my element locator I'm just running it this time it should select checkbox it should click on the checkbox so here first it's going to the next page and here we can see it has selected the checkbox now what I'm going to do I'm going to make a pause of 10 seconds for that I'm going to use sleep for 10 seconds and then I want to unselect the checkbox so I'm using unselect checkbox I'm using same element locator over here and this time I'm just saving it going to execute this so it should select a checkbox wait for 10 seconds and then unselect the checkbox here it has selected the checkbox now waiting for the 10 seconds and after the 10 seconds it should unselect it so here we can check it is unselected so in this session we have seen how we can select a checkbox and unselect checkbox. That's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video.